Hey guys, Matty is Franxy Studios here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Demo Smoother. Uh, just before we get started, this tutorial assumes that you already know how to make and create source demos. If you don't, go look up a tutorial, there's a million of them out there, and uh, then come back and watch this video. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're just going to hit Shift F2. It's going to bring up our little demo playback window there. I'm just going to drag it over so we can see it. I'm going to press Load, find our demo file we want to use. Your demos are always going to be found in C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, your account name, mine is Dusk Elf, and then your game. So I'm going to use Strider Takedown. I'm going to hit Open. You have to make sure the demo you use, the camera is completely still. If your camera moves at all during the demo, you're going to have some really weird composite camera movements from the source demo and the demo smoother. There we go, demo starting up here. Just let us watch for a few seconds here. As you can see, camera completely still. Pretty boring shot, nothing too interesting. So we're going to use the demo smoother and we're going to spice this up a bit. We'll just pause it there. First thing we need to do is hit smooth. It's going to open this smoother window that we drag over here. Whenever we open our smoother window, the very first thing we always need to remember to do is hit reload. This no selection is going to appear. That's perfect. That means our information is in the demo smoother. So we'll enter whatever tick we want to start at. And that's just the range of the video we're going to edit. So I'm going to choose 300 and 3000 here. And you can see it says we selected 300 to 3000 or 40.5 seconds. I'm just going to move this up here so we can see a little better. Now we're going to hit drive. And it doesn't look like it's going to do anything. But you'll notice as soon as you click your mouse down there, you can move your camera around and you can fly around with your WAST keys. Oh, a little bit of lag there. That's okay. So we're going to set ourselves up wherever we want our first camera to be. I'm going to choose right here behind the strider. Oh, tried to move the window there, but I still got to drive on. That's okay. Now we're going to jump to our first tick where we want our first camera to be. I'm going to choose uh, 400. Seems like a good number. We'll just jump there. And it always approximates. You see, it says I'm at 493, so I'm just going to back off with this arrow key. Get back to the tick I want to be at. Back to tick 400. There we go. And make sure I got myself set up and I'm gonna make my first camera or key by pressing make key. Make sure I get it where I want and then I'm gonna hit save key. Now if I fly away, you can see I got this little blue box here with this red and green arrow. That is exactly what I want. The red and green arrow points to where my camera's looking. The box is my camera. Then we'll fly over to where I want my second camera gonna jump to my next key let's try a thousand it's gonna put me up at uh, 1269 that's okay let's go to 1250 how about there we go get myself positioned gonna make my second camera make key again save key make that camera as soon as we fly away we can see we got another camera they're joined by that green line that's the track our camera is gonna take once we uh, render this onto the demo so I'm gonna do one more let's go to 2500 say 2000, jump forward to 2500, there we go, make my third camera, I'm going to hit save key once more, and as you can see I got my third camera there, connected by that green track, if I just fly over here I can show you the camera track, it's going to kind of loop around, give us a nice wide view of this strider. So now we got to back off one tick, or go forward one tick like I did there, as long as we're on a tick within the selection, not with the camera, and we've got our two processes here. The two you're going to want to use are spleen angles or spleen origin. So I'll try spleen angles first. As you can see, we got these purple lines. They're pointing backwards. That's where our camera is going to look once it's done. I don't want it to look backwards. So I'm going to try spleen angles. There we go. And now the purple lines are looking forward, looking at what our focal point. We want our focal point to be. That's perfect. So now that we're done, I'm going to go and hit save. We can successfully close our demo smoother window. I'm going to go over to the load button here. Scroll to the very bottom, and there should be a new demo created called whatever our first one was, underscore smooth. So Strider Takedown Smooth, that's the one we want. We're just going to open that up. 
There we go. The demo's starting there. Just got to remember to turn off drive. And there is our smooth demo movement. Add some really cool camera movements to your machinima very easily. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Matt Eads from Anxi Studios. Until next time. For more machinima videos and podcasts, be sure to check out angstystudios.com.